In this video, we are going to discuss about the arithmetic sequence formula. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence made by adding the same value each time. I'll be showing you examples of an arithmetic sequence. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 is an example of an arithmetic sequence. To get the next term, we add positive 2. So from 9, if we would like to continue the sequence, all we need to do is to add 2. So 9 plus 2 will give us 11. And then plus 2 will give us 13. Another example, 20, 17, 14, 11. This one is also an arithmetic sequence. Okay. To get the next term, what we do is we add negative 3. So 11 minus 3, that will give us 8. And then 8 minus 3 will give us 5. And then we can continue to get the next term. Next example is negative 3, negative 8, negative 13, negative 18. To get the next term, what we do is we add negative 5. Finding the common difference is also important before you use the formula. So in this example, our first example earlier, you have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. The common difference is positive 2. So you get positive 2 by subtracting 2 consecutive terms. So dapat magkatabi. 3 minus 1 or 5 minus 3, 7 minus 5 or 9 minus 7. So ang answer doon is positive 2. That's why our common difference here is positive 2. So example number 2. 20, 17, 14, 11. How can we get the common difference? At paano siya naging negative 3? What we do is to subtract 2 consecutive terms. So start tayo kay 17. 17 minus 20, that will give us negative 3. 14 minus 17, that will also give us negative 3. And 11 minus 14 will give us negative 3. Again, kaya tin sila tinawag na arithmetic sequence is because there is a common difference. Let's go to the third example. Negative 3, negative 8, negative 13, and negative 18. This is an example of an arithmetic sequence. Bakit? There is a common difference of negative 5. Paano siya nakuha? Negative 8 minus negative 3, negative 13, minus negative 8, negative 18, minus negative 13. Look at this arithmetic sequence. 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. This is an example of an arithmetic sequence. Bakit? Kasi there is a common difference. What's the common difference of this arithmetic sequence? So you get that by subtracting two consecutive terms. So example non, 24 minus 20, 28 minus 24, 32 minus 28, 36 minus 32. So lahat yan ang sagot ay positive 4. So that means our common difference is positive 4. What is the number after 36? So since alam na natin that our common difference is positive 4, what we need to do is magtagtag lang tayo ng 4 kahit 36. So that means after 36, the next number is 40. What is the 8th term? So ang challenge dito is mag-add ka ulit ng 4 kahit 40. Tapos, kay 40, you add another 4, magiging 44. And then, the 8th term is 48. Okay? Madali-dali lang siya kapag malapit lang sa first 5 terms yung hinahanap nating term. What if, ang susunod na question natin is, 
how can you get the 11th term? Or much, much worse, what's the 20th term? So, medyo mahaba-haba bang paglista yung gagawin mo? Do you know that there is an easy way of answering those questions? What we can do is use our arithmetic sequence formula. So, our arithmetic sequence formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times t. Your a sub n here, the part na to, refers to your n term. Ito namang a sub 1 refers to the first term. And then your n refers to the term position and minus 1 times your common difference. So remember that yung common difference, kinukuha natin to by subtracting two consecutive terms. And yung n na nandito, saan yan ang gagaling? Dito sa ating n term kung ano yung ating hinahanap. Let's answer the second question. What is the 8th term in the number sequence 20, 24, 28, 32, 36? So remember, meron lang tayong first 5 terms. Mula A sub 1 hanggang A sub 5. Kailangan natin hanapin yung ating 8th term. So, using the formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, since ang hinahanap natin is a sub 8, ito ang papalitan natin, gagawin natin a sub 8 yan. And then, you have your first term. So, nang galing yung first term? Dito. And then, your n minus 1. So, nang galing yung 8? Galing siya dito. Minus 1. And then, your common difference na 4. Your D is 4. Saan siya nang galing? By subtracting 2 consecutive terms. 28 minus 24 is 4. Positive 4. 32 minus 28, positive 4. Kaya siya nandyan. Okay? Next, let's proceed to our solution. So, you work first on the values inside the parentheses. So, 8 minus 1 muna tayo. You get 7. And 7, you multiply that to 4. 7 times 4 will give us 28. And then, you add na lang yung numbers 20 and 28. So, that means our 8th term is equal to 48. Okay, let's answer the third question. What is the 11th term in the number sequence 20, 24, 28, 32, 36? Kung hindi ka nagmamadali, pwede ka na lang mag-add ng plus 4, plus 4, plus 4 para makuha mo yung 11th term. Kaya lang, the faster way of solving is using the formula. So remember, our formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times 30. So, since ang inahanap natin ay a sub 11, palitan natin yung a sub n ng a sub 11. Okay? So, saan ang galing yung a sub 1? Doon siya galing. So, 20. That's your first term. And then, your 11. Itong n na yan, kanina, saan ang galing yung 11? Dito siya galing. So, position ng ating 11 term. Minus 1, and then your D. Saan galing yung D? Lagi ba yung number 4 or lagi ba yung 4? Depende sa difference. So, to check, 24 minus 20, that's 4. 28 minus 24 ay 4 pa rin. 32 minus 28 is 4. Kaya siya nakuha. And then you work for the numbers inside the parentheses. 11 minus 1, that will give us 10. Then you multiply that to 4. 10 times 4 will give us 40. Then 40 plus 20 will give us 60. So that means our 11 term is equal to 60. 
So, easier way ang paggamit ng formula instead of adding 4 para makuha mo yung pang 11 term. Okay, let's answer the last question. What is the 20th term in the number sequence 20, 24, 28, 32, 36? Remember na ang available lang ay mula A sub 1 hanggang A sub 5. At gusto nating malaman kung pang anong number yung pang 20th term. Yung A sub 20 natin. The formula... Let's replace this with A sub 20 kasi 20 yung hinahanap natin, 20th term. At kung ito ay 20, that means your N here will also be 20. Okay, saan naman ang galing yung D? Remember, it came from this sequence. So, 24 minus 20, that will give us 4. Or pwede rin dito, 36 minus 20. Then, you work for the numbers muna inside the parentheses, 20 minus 1, that will give us 19, times 4, that will give us 76, plus 20, ang ating 20th term is 96. I hope you learned something today. Kung nahihirapan, pwedeng ulitin, and don't forget, practice din. Pag may